Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So before we get into today's video, I would like to give a special shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So Nadula sent me over a 24 inch FB30 body wave. It is 24 inches long and this is a lace frontal. I really like it, y'all. I love the way that this color looks against my skin complexion. Y'all know that I've been after this color for quite some time, but I've just been so nervous to try it. I'm still a little nervous. That's why I got it pulled back in the ponytail, but I love it. It looks so pretty. So I do have a special code that you guys can use to get $10 off on the entire website. So don't forget to check the description box below. Okay y'all, so today I need to run a few errands. I need to go to Target, I need to go to Costco, and I wanna go to H&M. So of course I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's jump right into the video. y'all so we're back from running errands i spent way more than i intended to but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that i picked up from target today so we'll start off with this frother i started to get the nespresso frother but that box looked like it was open it was the last one and that one was a hundred dollars this one here um is the name is um Budum. i think that's how you pronounce it looks like this this one was only 30 bucks so i said well that other box is open and they work the same so i'm gonna go ahead and go with this one 
so it's just a electric milk frother y'all know that i drink my coffee so i've been wanting to get one of these for a while and every time i would go to target to buy the nespresso electric frother they were always out and like i said this time the box is open girl and nobody had time for that so i bought this one only 30 bucks 30 or 40 bucks i can't really remember i like to get my gym outfits from target so the first one is this little it's like a um, rust orange colors it's probably coming up a little red on camera but it's actually like a rust color i get this in an extra large because hello <laughs> this is how it looks in the back just like a little crisscross moment and then I always get my pants in either a medium or a small because they're very, like, very stretchy, but they suck you in so nicely. So I really, really like this. I always get the high rise. These are in a size medium. And then they have, like, the little holes at the bottom right here. But I love the way that these look. And y'all know, I've told you guys before, I always buy my workout pants from Target. You guys have seen me with them on several different times on Instagram, like in the morning when I'm going to the gym and things like that. So they look really, really good. Um, these were actually on sale today for $16. And then I think the top was $25, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yeah, $24 for the top so I bought this one I bought the green pair and these are a little different and these are the ones that's really stretchy they're also high waist but I bought these in a small I have a lot of these leggings and I always buy them in a small like I said because they're like so so stretchy if you're my size and you try to get a large you're not gonna like the way they fit because they're really loose so I always get them in a small and like i said the high waist and i think these were on sale no these were 35 dollars and then i also got the top to go with it i got the top in an extra large and this one just has like the little tea bag and how much was this top this top was 20 dollars and then i bought this one here and I really like the color of this one. I'm not too sure what color it is because it looks like a grayish tan color. I'm not too sure how it's coming up on camera. And the sun is not out today because it looks like it's getting ready to rain. It's been a little gloomy for the last uh, couple of days. But yeah, this is how this one looks. This is the back. And this one was $20. And then, of course, I got the pants to go with it. This is the detail on the bottom. High waist, always. These were $34, and I got these in the small. See how much that stretch. So, yeah, these look really good. Make the booty look real good. <laughs> Love that. This one probably is my favorite one. It's like a mustard yellow like a mustard yellow color i like to look cute when i'm at the gym or you know so this and then it has like the little cutouts on the side and this is how it looks in the back and this top was 20 dollars, and i got this one in an extra large i'm not too sure how comfortable this one would be because once i got it home i really don't like how small this neckline is i don't really like that so I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to try it on. And then the pants. Now with these, I definitely had to get a small because these are real, like look at this. <laughs> so yeah, need a small, but look at the waistband. And then the bottom, this is how they look in the back really cute so this is gonna be a cute little outfit but I think I'm gonna go back and switch this one and maybe get like you know the um, regular sports bra type cut like a cut like this because like I said I'm not too sure if I would really like the way that this one looks 
on me. So we'll see. But that's all the workout stuff that I picked up. And then I picked up some of the Method dish soap. Um, I have the hand soap and I decided to try the dish soap. Um, I got some little sticky notes because when I have a lot of stuff going on, sometimes I forget when stuff is due. So I need my sticky notes. Um, I picked up some more beauty blenders because mine are really old. So I picked up two of the marble beauty blenders. These are my favorites. Um, I picked up four packs of my eyebrow pencils that I like to use. I always get a lot of questions about them and these are the eyebrow pencils that I use. And they had a little sale going on at Target so I bought four packs. I bought two more of the, the Jergens Natural Glow because I told y'all before they went out of stock and now they're back so I wanted to make sure that I stocked up. Oh, I bought three. <laughs> I thought I bought two, but I bought three. I bought some of the Aveeno. This is the face wash that I use. I bought two of the NYX butter glosses, um, the butterscotch in color butterscotch because I really like, that's what I'm wearing today. And I really like the way that it looks. So I bought two more, the last two that they had. And then I just bought Sonia Keshik eyeliner brush because I like to use these brushes to clean up my brows. And that is all that I picked up from the store. I just love this hair color, it's so cute. So next up, I got a package in from Zara. Get into this box. So you guys remember the shoes that I just showed you guys from H&M? I ordered some from Zara. They're so cute. I seen them when I went to um, Miami. And then when we were in Atlanta, I came across the um, cream pair, but I wanted this color. So I ordered them from the website because they didn't have my size and then when I saw these today in H&M I'm like oh my god they are a little different the ones in H&M um, it has a thicker sole and they feel a little different too but these are so cute I've been like eyeballing these things like every time I go in a czar I look at these these are so cute and like I said they do have them in like a cream but this color is cuter to me so yeah, love them. And because of this little rope detailing, I had to get a size 10 because I have wide flat feet. So yeah, Woo! I love these, these are super cute. So I stopped by Costco, I picked up some shrimp, king crab, some stuffed salmon, and then some regular salmon. So y'all know how much I love the stuffed shrimp from Harry's, the restaurant that I go to in St. Augustine. So I'm gonna try to make my own. So I bought the shrimp. I have some of the lump crab meat. So that's what I'm gonna use to try to make like some stuffed shrimp. I've done it before, but um, it's been a while, but I'm sure I can figure it out it's not that hard it's just basically like a crab cake around the shrimp so that's what I'm gonna do but um, I also want to um, make some mashed cauliflower tonight for dinner um, so I need to go to Publix to pick up some cauliflower and 
I'll probably do some asparagus, or not asparagus, I'll probably do some Brussels sprouts. I had some Brussels sprouts in there that I picked up from Fresh Market, forgot they were in the refrigerator. I tried to cook them yesterday and they smelled terrible, so I have to throw those out. Um, but I wanna try to play with the frother because I've never used the electric frother before. Y'all know I have the hell hand frother. So I wanna try to mess around with my electric frother. So let's do it together. Hopefully it works. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn on the light. Okay. So, y'all excuse my little dress that I have on. I just wanted to put on something a little more comfortable. This little manual right here so this is the bottom this is a thick manual for it to be like something so simple like what the heck okay so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up It should be pretty simple. So attach the whisk. Where's the? the oh, I see. It. Okay, so in here is the little whisk. Can y'all see that? This is the little whisk. So it says, "Oh Lord, this little thing is beeping." Okay, so it says, attach the whisk to the rotating shaft. What? Okay. Let me rinse it off. Hold on. Okay, so I'm assuming that you just attach it to this little piece right here. magnetic <laughs> that scared the crap out of me they say it was magnetic now okay filled with cold milk <laughs> Ooh. Out. Oh, Lord. what the hold on this is this wrong in the world do not touch hot surface is it right in the middle because it's saying to oh that goes inside there my bad because I'm like this is flat so if I stuck the little part right there up here it's nowhere to attach it so yeah it goes inside my bad. Okay. And then we're gonna fill this baby up with milk. Not a lot, cause I'm just gonna drink one cup of coffee. Okay, and then you place the lid firmly. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Place the milk frother on the power base, switch on, and select the corresponding program. Okay, I did that already. When the when ready, remove the milk frother from the base and serve. Does it tell me when I'm done? Like, how long am I supposed to let this baby go? Okay, the milk frother is dishwasher safe. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out, like we have six simple steps on this box, but y'all give me a book this thick. Like I'm confused. What is all this? Okay, girl, so it is, what time? It's 5.16. I gotta hurry up and get this video out to you. Hurry up and get this video out to you guys. So, we're gonna make some coffee. At 5.16 in the afternoon.
Okay, y'all, so it did cut off by itself. So I'm gonna remove it from here. Ooh, y'all ready? Y'all ready to see this? Hold on. There it is. There's the frothiness. But that looks pretty cool. Let me, this is my regular frother. Let me blend it up. And let me taste it. It's a lot of froth. I like that. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at I am Sharika B and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all. Getting up and grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up.